Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Coach Malcolm here today. Uh, I'm going to do something a little different as well. We're going to be doing vision testing and more specifically um, vision testing on a chessboard. So what does that mean? It is basically about uh, testing your knowledge, your awareness, uh, particularly spatial awareness and location and just in general your vision of a chessboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the coordinates on uh, my chessboard that I've got in front of me. Uh, and we're just going to try a couple different training modes. So what does that mean? It will give me a coordinate, and I believe, I think I either have 30 seconds or 20 seconds. Uh, we'll see. You get a coordinate, and you basically have to click that square on the board, and you have to get as many as you can. Uh, I just tested it out for fun just to, uh, to get familiar with it as well. Uh, we're also going to try moves. It'll get a piece on the board until you move it to this square, uh, and then coordinates and moves. And we'll switch between... Uh, or actually, we'll just leave it on white or black the whole time, uh, because why not? So uh, we'll do it for the first time to try it out. We'll try a couple times with each mode, uh, just because why not? I thought it'd be fun. And then we have a chess color speed quiz uh, that we're going to do as well. Uh, just a, It's a new thing. Uh, and I just want to note, you know, it's important to uh, have understanding of the chessboard and know where squares are even without the coordinates. And not just because sometimes on Zoom calls, especially when we're learning in this capacity, uh, the letters are small or, you know, the zoom share screen cuts it off for some reason, whatever it is, uh, you know, besides that fact, which is less important, it's very important because I think it allows you, well, if you want to do blindfold chess, but even without that, it allows you to, uh, be better at calculating moves, right? And be better at thinking about chess, picturing moves on the chessboard. Uh, it's very, very important. Uh, it's helpful. It's not just a thing to do for fun, even though it can be. So let's get started. Okay, so I quickly realized that the white-black function means the perspective from which you're looking at the board. So we're going to start with white, uh, the next round we'll switch to black, and then we'll do white and black. So it gets tricky uh, when it's white and black because it'll say C3, which would be here if you were white's perspective. But if you're black's perspective, um, then C3 is over here, actually. All right, so it's a little tricky. So we're just going to do coordinates white to show you guys for the first time. All right, so let's get started. 30 seconds. All right, E6, B6. E2, E7, F1, uh, wrong one, oh yeah, yeah, A2, A1, F3, B8, oh, I clicked the wrong one, D4, F3, B1, oh my gosh, this is very, very, it's tricky, you know, you have to, yikes, you have to just be ready for a new square to pop up at any moment. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, you can see that I have, where is C6? Uh, all right, so we got 21. First time. Let me try it one more time. We'll see how it goes. I've tried, you know, I've practiced stuff like this before, and I've played for long enough that I know a lot of moves. I got three wrong. We got 21. I think we can definitely do better. So let me try one more time. All right. A5. H8. F2. E3. D5. B3. B7. Boom. F7. B1. H8. We got H8 already. Oh, there it is. No, it's not. G6. E4. <laughs> H6, B1, E2, F3, A2, B4, D6. Did we beat the record, guys? I don't want to look. I'm really trying to, you know, use all my time to just focus on the board right here. I feel like we're getting a lot of the same squares. All right, we got 27. Excellent. I'm feeling good about it. Um, let's try moves. All right, sorry about that. Let's try moves. Just a little different. See what it's like. Uh, it's going to have pieces on the board. I think this one will be easier, to be honest. Queen H2. Bishop e4, queen e4. Not sure exactly uh, why this is easier. I guess because, what was that? Um, this is very poor now. Um, all right, we'll improve. King c2, bishop g5. All right. We got 21, three wrong. Again, first try, not so great. Uh, I think that was exactly what we got for the coordinates for the first time. So let's try one more time. Same thing. We're going to, you know, give it another go. This should be seven. Awesome. Rook F1. King H8. King H4. See, I feel like I have just a better hang of it now. Um, queen C3. Queen G3. Queen H2. Queen E6. King B3. All right. We're on a roll. Oh, I read the square wrong. Queen F4. Ay, ay, ay. I think this one also just takes more work. You got to drag the piece everywhere. Oh, wrong square. All right, we did a little bit better. 
I think the moves one takes a little bit more. Uh, you kind of have to drag the piece around. Um, but I think I was more accurate with my squares. I don't know. The squares one, you're just sort of swinging your mouse all over the board. It's easier. You're not dragging anything. Um, anyways, let's try a combination of the two, and then we'll switch um, to black and maybe do a white and black uh, combo because that one's the trickiest. All right, so this will be a mix of both that we're faced with. So rook c8, king c8, king e2, bishop b1, king h4, queen d1, e7, rook d7, queen f2, f1. Oh, see, it's tricky. It's like throwing me off. I keep forgetting that it'll switch. I'm doing very good, though. Oh no. Alright, look at that guys. 24 without one wrong. So I feel like that's progress. Um, so this is my point. You know, even just watching me right now, just going through it, practicing, we've only done it, what, this is the, the fifth one, I guess, that we've done right now. Literally just already have improved. We're getting them more right. You can see I'm being more accurate. And this is really good because let's say you're sitting in front of a chessboard. You need to picture a ton of moves in a very crazy middle game calculation. You're saying these moves to yourselves. If I go knight g4, bishop takes g4, but then I have bishop b2. I don't know. I'm just saying random moves right now, obviously, um, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. But the point is being able to picture these moves, think about them in your head because chess is a, it's a mind game, right? It's all about thinking. If you're able to have better awareness of the board, of sp squares on the board, it is much easier. All right. Let's try... Um, coordinates from the black perspective. I'm going to have to get used to this one. So I'm looking at the board from black. So this uh, so D5 is here. H5 is here. H8 is going to be in my left corner. It's definitely um, weirder um, for me to think about. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, but we're doing, I think I'm doing all right. Oops, wrong one. Ah, see, that was the wrong square. Yay. All right. G7 is right in front of me. H7 is right in front of me. B2 is opposite. A1 is over here. H3 is over here. Uh, all right. So not as good, of course. All right. 15, not as great of a score. Maybe it's because I'm used to the white pieces. When I'm playing black, it's not that I switch it up. Um, you know, I mean, these things just take getting used to. Try the moves uh, quickly, and then I think we'll just do a mix of both. 95. Okay. Yeah, I think this one is much easier. Let me just talk after I finish. See, I almost know right away when I got it wrong. All right, so we even did better than the coordinates. And I think that's because when I have the black pieces, uh, I'm just even more put in the mindset of I'm playing black, um, you know, so obviously I have the black orientation, like I'm facing the board as if I'm playing black in my head. I'm not exactly sure, guys. I'm not a professional on understanding uh, the vision aspect of the chess.com program. But all right, let's just do our last thing. Let's throw it all together um, before we head on over to the speed quiz. The speed quiz is kind of fun as well. It's a little different, but very similar to this. Um, all right, so coordinates and moves. If the move or or coordinate shows up in black writing, it's going to be from the black perspective. So I'm going to have to be switching back and forth. This could get rough. It's hard to switch back and forth. All right, king a6, this is from the black. So you'll see the moves are different. g7, king f6, rook b5 is here. Ooh, from... Ay, ay, ay. All right, we're getting a lot of moves. Uh, nope, a8. Ay, ay, ay. C6 from black. Ooh. All right, guys. Definitely trouble. <laughs> E4 is right here. Um. All right. Let's try one or two more times. It's hard to get used to. It switches back and forth. I'm thinking about the board one way, and then it'll completely flip it on its head. Um. I think we can improve from 14 for sure. Okay. King E4. We move up. King D4. Um. G5 from white. Uh. Queen H6. I have no clue. Why am I blanking? Here we go. H6 is right here. E3, right here. C3, E5, D4, C4, and G3, D5, C5, King G7, King G3, A1, Queen D1. All right, 21. We did much better. We didn't get any wrong. 
point is it takes practice okay and I want to you know this segues right into my next thing that I'm doing the speed quiz um, what I'm doing during this especially when it is a move I think about the color of the square king d4 I know the king is moving towards the center of the board because d is a middle file and it's a dark square so if I have black even if I'm facing the you know the perspective from black pieces or white pieces I know king d4 is going to be uh, this square for the black piece for facing white's orientation and this square um, if it's black all right so the speed quiz what is it these guys are beasts absolutely but let me explain it first it's going to say a square and I have to say whether it's a light square or a dark square which is exactly what I was just talking about if it's d4 do I know if it's a light square or a dark square h1 I know is a dark square I got I'm totally wrong h1 uh, I oh maybe I double clicked h1 is definitely no h1 is a light square okay totally blanking at this point ignore it f2 I'm sure it's a dark square c1 same thing dark square f1 is a dark square if I said light square sorry f one's a light square all right we're going off the radar uh, b2 is dark c3 is dark g7 I know is a dark square if I put light square it would say it's wrong and try again uh, you have to get 25 the record is 12 seconds I apologize for the mistakes I'm just gonna try this right now um, we'll see how it goes all right g5 is dark dark light dark dark mm. Oh, that was wrong. Okay, let's try again. Oh my lord. Alright. It's very tricky. Okay, sometimes I'm just clicking without even thinking. <laughs> that tends to happen, though, in these games. It's very, you know, it's all about speed, uh, so you kind of just get lost in it. Um, and don't think sometimes. Nope. All right, let's just try and get to 25 without trying to break a record because we're not going to break the record. Whoever set these records uh, is just an absolute, absolute beast. They did incredible. Good job to them. Um, they should be proud. I have no idea how they did it that quickly. But you see, you know, once we slow down, I'm not slow at it, but I'm not uh, as fast as some of these fellows. All right, we got 22. Um, we can try. How about one more time? Let's put my username in. Stu. There we go. Awesome. Incredible. Oh, I have to make a password. Never mind. I apologize. Let's try and get to less than 22 seconds um, one time. All right. E7, A8, G8. Totally wrong. A5, B6, B2, G2, D2, F8. Totally wrong. A3, G5, G1. Nope. H7, G3, E2, G6, D8, H3, G4, A5. Nope. All right. Last one. C5, B1, D8, D3, H3. All right, I had to slow it down a little bit. I was getting ahead of myself. D2 is okay. All right, whatever. The brain is fried from all of the vision puzzles. Um, the point is, I think the vision part was more important. This one is a little too speedy. I just start, started clicking back and forth. Anyways, they're both fun to use. You can just really search chess color speed quiz, or if you really want to, you can pause and copy the URL here. Uh, I recommend if you have chess.com, use this, but you don't even need it. You can just do it at a border home, uh, you know, who's ever home, put on a blindfold or don't put on a blindfold, cover the coordinates, practice it out. I'm sure you can get creative. Do it however you want. It's really good, guys. I know it doesn't, it's tedious. It seems tedious. It is tedious, let's be honest. Uh, I know it seems like it won't help a lot, but I think it really, really helps with calculation. And at the very least, you won't be asking your coaches in the Zoom sessions, well, bishop to whatever square that is, which happens when you don't understand the board. Once you understand the board, it helps your chess a lot. Um, I hope, you know, this video was fun. You got to see me mess up a little bit, whatever. Uh, it's tricky, I'll be honest. You know, I'm not the best at it either, not even close, especially to those people who have uh, the high scores. Um, but I had a good time. I hope you guys did as well, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.